Christmas Day, a lot of people have problems. There's no need, it's nice and simple, just go nice and slowly. I'm here to help. What we're going to do first is decide how much turkey we need. Not too much, and some people prefer to cook them, as I do, without the legs on. So ask for a crown of turkey. And I've got one here, all ready to go, as you can see. Two breasts on the bone. They cook lovely on the bone, keep them nice and moist inside. And your legs, you don't have to worry about, this will be cooked. So the first thing we're going to do is release the skin just round the top here to form a little bit of a pocket. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some butter and some parsley in there to give it seasoning and make it really nice and moist. It's not as bad a job as it looks. So take some butter, soften it up. Best way to do it, Turner, is with your hands. I thought it would be. And I'm going to put some chopped parsley in there. Plenty of freshly chopped parsley. Squeeze it all together. This will give lovely flavours, make it really nice and moist. So when it's nice and soft, just stick it in here. I'm not going to stuff this. Make the stuffing separate, it's a lot easier. Just nice and flat up against the meat. So it really will give a moist moistness to the bird that you want. Once you've got everything in there, just clean the hands quickly. And then just reshape it so it goes back to its original shape. Push the butter underneath the skin. There it is, nice and evenly stretched out there. So everything gets basted without you having to do it all the time. And then using a little bit more butter, just put some on the outside, just so it's nicely basted and ready there. It's not extravagant, and even if it is, it's Christmas time. Bit of salt on there. Into the roasting tray. Then we're going to put that in the oven. About 180 to 200 degrees to kick it off on, and then it turn it down to 180 degrees. We're going to cook this for about two hours, because it's only the breasts. And the nice thing is that this is a lovely tall oven here, so that can go on the bottom shelf. And I've got plenty of room to put my potatoes or anything else I want to put in this oven. In fact, I could probably even put Yorkshire puddings in there. Right, so that's in the oven, that's ready to go. The next thing we need to organise are roast potatoes. Now everybody loves roast potatoes. This is a different way to do roast potatoes and to use cranberry sauce at the same time. So I'm going to take a, take a large potato, Cut it so that it's about an inch, an inch and a bit high, nice and even. And then take a cutter, just very carefully, cut the potato. So we've got a nice circular shape. It's only to make sure that everybody's got the same shape, same size, so they cook nice and evenly. Then I'm going to just take a knife here and just bevel them around a little bit, make them nice and pretty. Next I need a Parisian spoon. Now you might call this a melon baller, they call this a Parisian spoon. All I'm going to do is take the centre out of that and that's where we'll put the cranberry sauce when they're ready. A lovely little potato is this. So now we'll go across to the stove to put the potatoes on. Pan on, nice and hot, a bit of butter in there. Put the potatoes with a cut side down, like that. Now you have to be patient, get a really nice golden colour and make sure then you've got some stock to cook the potatoes in. Chicken stock works wonderfully. Smell that butter. As the colour gets golden brown, just like that one, turn them over. That one's the same, 
these two, not quite ready, nearly there. This is the kind of job you can't actually do in advance, but I trust me, it's better if you do it on the day, at the right time. You can always re reheat these up. Nice golden colour, nice golden colour. So now, take it away from the heat, put a bit of chicken stock in. Keep the stock handy, just in case it starts to boil dry, you can always top it up. And we're just going to braise these potatoes. Fondant potato actually means melting potato. The potato will be soft underneath and have a lovely crisp top. Into the oven it goes. Our turkey's looking great already. The trick on the day is to make sure everybody has enough to eat, but you don't have to do too many choices. So very simply today, I'm going to cook cabbage with a bit of cream and a bit of spring onion. Really nice mixture. That's my vegetables. So, take a good old cabbage, chop it in half, get rid of the outside leaves, cut in quarters, take out the core, and then shred the rest as finely as you can. There we are, bags of cabbage and spring onions, shred them. Now we need to check the potatoes and we need to check the turkey. So, let's quickly check our potatoes. Those are looking good. Yeah, potatoes are cooked. They've been in there for about 40 minutes. So we can put those to one side. Let's have a quick look at... Oh, this is looking really good. Look at that turkey, that's looking really... It's been in there about an hour and a half. So what I'm going to do now Put some wine in there, give it some steam, a bit of moisture, you don't want to lose that, flavour for the gravy. Now remember, like all good roast meats, when they come out of the oven, they need to rest for about half an hour this size, I would think. So I'm going to cook this for another half an hour or so, then we'll have a look. Now I'm going to check, see if the turkey is ready. The moment of truth. This is looking fantastic. Now we don't want to throw anything away, we want to keep all of that. If you're not sure, if you've got a meat thermometer, stick it in there at the deepest point, just see what temperature you want. You want to be above 68 degrees. This is perfect. Take it out, leave it to rest. So into here, I'm going to put some shallots. Just going to get all that flavour from the turkey. And put that over there, just to cook for a moment and to get it all cooking together. Right, now whilst that's happening, I've got some water here boiling for my cabbage. So I'm going to put a bit of salt in there. And a pan on here. looking good. So a drop of butter in there and let me put my vegetables in. So spring onions go here that we shredded and just to try and keep the colour, this lovely green colour, got boiling water here, good point there, just plunge that in there just to try and keep the colour. And almost as quickly as that, let's have a quick look over here. Just starting to get those going. Then we're going to tip the water off here. And the cabbage then goes in with the spring onions. Delicious. So 
Well, that's on the go there. That's looking good. Take my gravy. Just look at that. Bags of flavour in there. I'm going to strain it off into a clean pan. Let's get rid of that. And a bit of stock in there. So just to recap, my turkey is resting. It's cooked perfect. The cabbage is on the way. I just need to put a bit of salt and pepper in there. A bit of cream in there. think this cream cabbage is so delicious it's got bags of flavor it's got lovely color not everybody likes cabbage they love this turn that off this is going well here oh the turkey flavor oh it's fantastic just going to do a turner I'm going to put a bit of butter in there just to finish it off, it's Christmas Day. Just let that cream start to thicken. The minute it starts to thicken, we're ready to serve it. So we're all ready. We could have cooked a lot more in this oven. It's so fantastically big. Bags of space. Everything's done. We're ready to go. Let's serve it up. So there it is, it's just about ready. My fondant potatoes with cranberry sauce, just take a little bit out, put it in there. That's the potato will warm it through, that's lovely. Everybody gets a bit of sauce, there's no fighting for the sauce. The cream cabbage looks delicious and green, tastes wonderful. And because we did a crown of turkey, it's easy to take the breast off. Once you've got the breast off like that, just give it slice into nice looks like it's just so moist look at the color of that skin what a lovely golden color it is cooked to perfection even though i do say it myself it's just nice slices i like thick slices it's entirely up to you on the plate it goes ready to be served and just give it a little bit of gravy as a finishing touch. I hope you enjoy your turkey as much as I'll enjoy mine. Have a happy Christmas. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.